Hello everyone and welcome back to MLB The Show 19. Continuing with our Road to the Show series here today, we got three games against the Boston Red Sox at home. Rick Porcello on the mound. We already faced these Red Sox once. They were the opening series of the 2020 season. Damn. Oh, uh, we're actually doing better than them so far. We have a four and two record. They are currently at three and three. Let's see if we can uh, make that a little bit better for us. Apparently, the blue, this uh, Blue Jays team is actually okay this year, which is going to be frustrating because I already put in for a trade. This should be interesting to see the Damn. energy this team plays with today. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna start winning and then we're gonna get traded. That's probably what's gonna happen, because that's just my luck. Come on, game. Tell me I guessed the pitch right when it's a mile outside. Come on. All right, we're right back up. We're DHing. Some uh, hot rule five pick named Tim Kugler took our spot. We're losing five nothing. Excellent. Okay, nice pitch. Come on, Rick. Oh, come on, dude. Drop it. Drop it. All right, we're off to a. Uh, a good start here. Two quick outs. These games go by so fast when you're not playing any defense. I can't seem to square this fastball up. It's because it's so slow. 88 miles per hour. Okay, wait on it. Wait on it. That might drop. It did. Alright, that's an easy double. That's more like it. I mean, we're going to lose, but... Oh, yeah, we have a... My camera's blocking it. But we did some contact training. And we got a teammate challenge to get six hits uh, over the next three games. So that'll just be the three games in this Boston series. We have to get six hits. So that's one down. I got to be careful. I don't know why I took that extra step. Completely unnecessary. We're back, though. And that's two outs. And who's behind him? Tim Kugler, the man who stole our spot. Honestly, it makes no sense. We're both 72 overall. We won Rookie of the Year at third base last year, and for some reason this guy's playing third base and we're DHing. This is line to left. Ah, I gotta stop. And they're gonna hold that runner at third base. I would have been gunned down by 10,000 miles had I chosen to go. This game is unbelievable sometimes, Dan. There's a Yeah, we don't need to see that. Billy McKinney batting 158. It's all up to him. And a sack fly will not do it because there are two outs. Now the payoff pitch home. Had him fooled as this has popped up. And that'll end the inning. Let's get another at bat here because we need another hit. Two hits per game will get us that challenge. One for three with a double. We're losing eight nothing now. Porcello's still in the game for some reason. Well, I mean, it's because he hasn't given up a run. I just meant more for my benefit. He's at 101 pitches. Here we go. Wait on it. It's a slow fastball. That's not going to drop. Damn it. <clears throat> okay. So we got to step our game up in these next two games. That was a weird sentence, but you know what I mean. Why are they showing us a replay of us getting an out? We don't need to see that. All right, obviously we lost that one by a significant margin. Let's go play the next one. Okay, we're back. Sorry. We're losing 3 nothing already. That's, uh, that's great. Evaldi on the mound. Going to start us off with a slider. It's an easy take. And when I say it's an easy take, like when it's an easy take for me, that's saying something. Yeah, Maddie, I know we're getting ready for game two, but yesterday, man, wrote... That's a gapper. Get down. Get down. That's an RBI double. 
And now this is thrown Ooh, that was that was closer than I thought it was gonna be. There's two outs, so what do you think the chances that we get scored here are? That hung up there a little bit too long for comfort. Mr. Mookie Betts almost got to that. Alright, Gurriel Jr., it's all up to him. Get us back in this game. Ah. I'm running. In case he drops it. No. Nope. That's fine. That's two of our six hits that we need to complete this challenge. I think it'll boost our contact cap up by two just for completing the challenge. Hey, we tied it up. Hell yeah. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Oh, man. I couldn't hold up. What a well executed pitch right there. Just a little bit off the corner right there. Got a great hitter to go a little bit outside. Ah, uh, that's an easy play. Can of corn for Mookie. All right, only the third inning. We're going to get a couple more bats here at least. No defense because we're DH. I'm just going to keep reminding everybody about how stupid that is. Okay, scoring position. Ooh, okay. That um, was a really good pitch to hit. No, I want the inside fastball. Good take. I really think guess pitch is a terrible thing. Like, it makes me play worse. But man, it feels good when you get one. Here we go. Get over set. Alright, we're in trouble for this challenge now, officially. I gotta at least get the third hit in this game. This is gonna be our last at bat. It's the seventh, probably. Ooh. That was close. That could have gone either way. Trying to tie the hitter up, trying to keep him from getting those arms extended. A pitcher's pitch. This is line to left. Caught though. But this will hang up just enough as he takes it. You'll get into stretches in this game, dude, and right, no matter how hard you hit the ball, it's always gonna be right at somebody. Oh my god, we're back up. Hell yeah. So a pivotal moment here in digging. We're still losing, but we're back up. This is a sinker ball pitcher. I almost swung at that. I almost swung at that. <clears throat> You know, in this situation, All right, if he throws a sinker, we really got to wait on it and pull it up. Come on! All right, we have two hits. And we got one more game to get four more. We got to have one hell of a game next time. And we lost. Let's try and at least avoid the sweep. Uh, let's go. Here we go, game number three. I don't have high hopes for this challenge, and we're already losing one nothing. Okay. Trying to focus here. Yeah, Maddie, without question. We locked in, locked in. in. Today, they got I say that now, but I'm still going to make an out here. I can feel it. That's one out. <clears throat> Steve Pierce playing first base. Former Blue Jay Steve Pierce. I mean, to be fair, he's former every team in the American League East. But Blue Jays is one of those. All right, right around first, two outs. Is that getting out? Nope. Nope. Warning track power. High power swung on that and everything. Squared it up pretty nicely. But that's pretty deep to dead center. Alright, so the challenge is uh the challenge is out of the question at this point. Unless we go to extras somehow. There we go. This one as we move into the later innings, down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. 
Oh, and this one is hit exact same thing. At the wall. Did you see that catch? We're hitting the ball 400 for 398 feet. Absolutely. And we're not getting hits. That fastball, and it might have been a home run if he had it, any elevation under it, but it was basically right at the Unbelievable. Next up for the oh my God, we're playing defense. He's two for three and what happens? We better, like, we better make this play. Yeah, we got it. I haven't played defense at all this year. Got him. And that's going to be the game. What? Did we tie it up? What is happening? Wasn't it the ninth inning last time? It's never a good feeling to get shut out, and over the course of the season, it's all right. Well, let's let's try and get a solo shot here, or not get shut out. Then this guy's energy is completely spent. Uh, I was a little bit early. I thought I waited long enough, but no dice. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Come on, big guy, one time. One one. Misses ball two. Okay. I'm seeing all the signs of fatigue right now. Counts in our favor. You really have to bear down mentally as a pitcher. And he can't catch. Count is even more in our favor. Three and one. If you're ever going to see a position player go to the mound, it's going to be in a situation like this. Get him to relax a little bit, focus on his mechanics, and get that fastball back. Okay, I'll take the walk. There's nobody out. One for three, Mr. Gurriel Jr. I want to steal so bad, but it's a terrible idea, so I'm not going to. Not situationally terrible idea. It's a terrible idea because we're slow. And he took the walk anyway. All right. Who the hell is Joe Harmon? Over two with a walk is what he is. Now would be a good time for his first home run. Interesting to see if he can settle down here. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And a changeup. Nope. Missed for the first down. Swinging strikeout. I'll have to give credit to him on the mound for not letting that previous Bailey McKinney, over two with a walk. Is everybody on our team over two with a walk? I mean, I guess probably. We have not scored a run. And gets the punch out. Throw back to I'm safe. Don't even. Yeah, that's right. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. Damn, dude. Okay, two outs. Two runners on for Danny Jansen. He's over two with a walk. He's got one home run in the season. Now would be a really good time for his second home run. Ah, uh, come on, Danny. And that'll end the game. All right, that was pretty quick. And I don't think we can go out on that note. Let's go play another game. Okay. We have a four-game series against the Angels here. We are back at third base. So I assume our Rule 5 guy went back to his original team. And we're going to play two of these four games to end off this episode. Here comes the first pitch. All right, we got two runners on. We're down by four already. So obviously our pitching is a huge, huge problem still. Entering play here tonight. Fair to say they're not playing their best baseball right now. Losers of five of their last six. Yeah, Maddie, this definitely looks like a situation where some. That's not anything. It's not even going to advance the runner. Good start, as per usual. Let's see how much defense we actually get now that we're back at third. Oops, I forgot to sim. Sorry. I'll do it next time. All right, we're still batting 359 somehow, which seems insane. Is that hanging up too long? Get out! There we go. You cannot have an episode without a home run. That's why I keep playing. You gotta get that. I, I regular swung that too. I'm starting to do that more often. Just go with the X swing unless I guess pitch correctly. I think it's uh, a higher chance of making contact than if you power swing. Same with check swings too. If you try and check a power swing, you're probably going to go through. I think if this pitch would have been a little Boom. higher and in on his hands, it would have been effective. But he left this one belt high. 
Big mistake. That barely got out, but it counts all the same. Hey, defense time. We're back. We're losing by one here in the sixth. There's two outs and nobody on, so theoretically there should be an easy play. Yeah, we got it. We got it. And boom. I gotta double check when we get back to the clubhouse if uh, Tim Kugler is actually off the roster. There's little icons in the, like the lineup cards, uh, like um, you know, uh, rookie of the year, or, like the fire symbol, or the, uh, the snowflake symbol. If you're hitting like crap, and he had a number five, which I assume means he was a, a rule five guy. Which my very basic understanding of that is. You have to keep a Rule Five guy on the Major League roster, or offer him back to his uh, to his previous team. So it seems like him playing third base over me was temporary, which is good. Oh, please hit the ground! Hit the ground! Hit the ground! That bastard broke my bat. And now I got to go contact swing. Two strikes on us. Thank God I pressed the contact swing. <laughs> Didn't have to press the swing button at all, though. That was awful. Okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Got a piece. And thank God I did, because that was another ball that I didn't need to swing at. I don't think I've guessed pitch once this entire game. Ooh. That was scary. Full count. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you gotta find a way to stay. I'll take the walk, that's fine with me. And he looks at one that misses, and that's Oh, that's stressful. I hate full counts. Alright, Gurriel Jr. So a run at first now feet. with one away, Shortstop. and that brings up the exciting Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Oh, I'm picked off. I'm so slow. I thought I could uh, at least last a little bit longer than that in the pickle. Hey, we're winning somehow, even with my terrible base running. Spencer comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. And a dive, but he's back. All right, let's see if we can put this game out of reach. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh, I thought that was running inside. No such luck, though. No errors in the game for Toronto. Lifted the other way down the left field line. That was an effective changeup because by the time I realized that it was staying dead center, it was too late. Ready with the 0 2. That's a ball, thank God. <clears throat> I haven't, I still haven't guessed pitch once this entire game. Damn. Drop it. No dice. That was probably our last at bat, but hopefully we hang on and win this one. We did. All right, we're gonna play one more, then we'll finish this series in the next episode. Okay, coming to the plate here. See the season stats there. 366, three home runs, and 10 RBI. Um, swing on time for a hit. That's what we're going to go with. Two outs, nobody on. That's a ball. I was pretty confident that that was a ball. They've been fairly punchless of late, losing last time out, and in fact, dropping six of their last seven. I wasn't on time, so it's not going to count for the challenge, but it's a home run. Oh, they counted that as on time. I thought I was late. I'll take it. Two home runs because I decided not to end the episode after that horrific Boston series. That's content. We're gonna watch the replay of that real quick. Well, he hit a homer last night too, so it's obvious that he's in a groove right now. My advice to this—that's our fourth on the season, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sure it just said, but I wasn't paying attention. Some folks hanging in the hotel rooms up there. Love the details like that. Xander Bogart is an angel, apparently. Okay. Well, let's throw him out. In fact, let's turn two here. Oh. 
Never mind. Okay, get get under it. There you go. And he brings it in for the second out of the You have so little control over that. Alright, back batting. Digging in, Shea Spencer. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. And that's been the entire offense so far. Oh man, that should have been a home run. Simmons is under it. I bet you anything that was good timing, but it's going to show the PCI that we got under it, which is frustrating when you're not using PCI. Stepping into the box, Shea Spencer. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Really doesn't oh, come on. Early? I thought I was going to say late for sure. Swinging from the right side against lefties, the numbers are quite the same. Change up. And now we're in trouble. Hell yeah. Power swing time. That's a double. That's a double. All the way to the wall. Nice. I don't think we've hit a single triple in our entire Major League career. We may have had one down in double A. We skipped triple A. But we're just not fast enough. I try and put as many attributes towards uh, speed as possible when I get the options to, uh, you know, do the training and stuff. But I also got to be worried about contact and plate vision and my other numbers that are super low. Otherwise, our overall is just not going to improve. I'm not stealing here. Got to have faith in um, Mr. Harmon. And um, that may have been some misplaced faith, but that's okay. Jonathan Lucroy. If I'm not mistaken, is he actually an angel in real life right now? I'm so out of touch of who's where because I'm not playing fantasy for the first time in like four years. Everyone in my fantasy league bailed this year. Well, not everyone, but enough that we couldn't run the league. And we're back up. Two for three with the home run and the double. Let's just uh, go ahead and get another home run. Why not? Two home runs and a double. A gentleman behind me here wants me to see it and then drive it. I feel like that is good advice. It's such an effective pitch if you can hit the corner with it, but no dice this time. Ooh. I saw it, but I did not drive it. That's what it looks like right there. A guy with massive power letting it eat. Oh, man, I really thought that was going inside. Now we're in trouble. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, Shit. so he needs to do what he can to give Blew it right by me. Chance to be the guy. Swing and a miss, and that'll That's going to be the last at bat, too. We keep ending the episodes on awful notes. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. It's always like, have a really good game, and then a, like a, a strikeout looking. Or strikeout swinging, in this case, to end the episode. But we got to end it there, guys. We're out of time. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this episode. In the next one, we're going to finish this series against the Angels, and then we got a three-gamer against the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for episode number 31.